500 companies have reported their third quarter earnings. 8.2% have reported earnings above earnings expectations then. So kind of gives you a clear sense that, yes, they're not sh- necessarily shooting the lights out, but they are getting by in some of these businesses. But we have had the last three months, unfortunately, overall on Wall Street, go a lot lower despite the, this close-off of October. Uh, it had it higher than the S&P 500, two-thirds of a percent to the good. Of course, it is about that Fed uh, decision then later today. A pause is anticipated, but will it be a hawkish pause? I mean, the expectation perhaps for a dovish pause would be remiss at this point, would be something that the market is not necessarily looking toward, considering how tough the economic stance is, yes. But the one important fact is that that inflation number is still too high for perhaps the Fed to consider even uh, thinking about any kind uh, of a cut then in those rates. So it is about staying at these levels supposedly for a lot longer. We've already heard that commentary and it looks to stay in place. On to the Treasury's front. Well, yes, it's come off that 5% mark uh, for the 10-year, but will it test that mark again? We've seen the difference then between the yield curve inversion there for the 2-year and the 10-year. That's gone up to around 17 now, 17 basis points. It had dropped off to 11 basis points on October the 23rd the lowest since July 2022, so it was giving a sense that perhaps you wouldn't see uh, as much risk of that recession, but it is still in play right now. We are still seeing it uh, at those levels. 4.9096 is where we're seeing the 10-year out of the United States. On the Asia market front, well, we're following a, a, a few factors. Then one, when it comes to China, the factory activity there unexpectedly contracting for the month of October. Um, we also saw the properties market of, market, of course, slump throughout the entire month, really, when it comes to the Asian trading picture. Thus far, we are up. The Nikkei is sitting 2.4% uh, to the good.